Welcome back. This is Mrs. Rubright with Advanced Algebra. Today's lesson is 110, Precision and Accuracy. So let's look at this. Precision is the level of detail an instrument can measure. For example, a ruler is marked in millimeters is more precise than a ruler that is marked in only centimeters. You can use precision to compare measurements. For example, a measurement of 25 inches is more precise than a measurement of 2 feet because an inch is a smaller unit than a foot. Similarly, 9.2 kilograms is more precise than 9 kilograms because a tenth of a kilogram is a smaller unit than a kilogram. In the following activity, you will investigate how precision affects calculated measurements such as area. So making measurements to calculate an area. Work with a partner. One of you should measure the width of a book cover to the nearest centimeter. Record the width below. So I'm going to give you guys some rulers. So you're going to measure that algebra book. What is the width of your book cover? I got 24 centimeters. Mine's a teacher edition. I probably need to measure your student edition, huh? You're red. That's 22 centimeters. What did you guys get? 28. 22 centimeters. What about the length of your book to the nearest tenth of a centimeter? Determine the minimum and the maximum possible values for the actual width and length of the uh, book cover. Example, when you measure an object to the nearest centimeter and get a measurement of 3 centimeters, the actual measurement is between 2.5 centimeters and 3.5 centimeters. So, um, what do we get for the minimum width? So we're get, they're basically saying to go like a half a centimeter in each direction, right? So what are we going to do? 21.5 to 22.5. And the length, we could say what? 27.6 to 28.9. We're going a half in each way. Use the minimum width and minimum length to calculate the minimum <laughs> possible area of the book cover. What? Twenty-seven point nine. Oh, my bad. 
so smart. Okay. Yeah, you're right. So, what are we going to do? Use the minimum width. That's what they're doing, right? Yeah. Using the minimum width and minimum length to calculate the minimum possible area of the book cover. So, multiply those. Centimeters squared. And the maximum area, 22.5 times 28.9. How does the precision of linear measurements width and length affect the calculated measurement or area? So the uncertainty of the linear measurements is compounded in the calculated measurement because once you actually start multiplying them, it becomes a wider range of values, right? So um, in the preceding Explorer, we have discovered that there are a wide range of possible values for the actual area of the book cover. This raises the question of how a calculated measurement like an area should be recorded. Significant digits offer one way to solve this um, dilemma, to resolve this dilemma. Significant digits. Significant digits are the digits in a measurement that carry meaning contributing to the precision of the measurement. This table gives rules for determining the number of significant dig digits in a measurement. So all non-zero digits, all non-zero digits, so one, two, three, four, so it has four significant digits. Zeros after the last non-zero digit and to the right of the decimal. So how many significant digits? Two. Zeros between them. One, two, three, four, five. This one has five significant digits. This one has four. This one only has two. So basically, if there's these leading zeros, they kind of like just cancel out. But if you have numbers ahead of them, then they count. So, note that the zeros at the end of the whole number are usually not considered to be significant digits. For example, 4,550 feet has three significant digits. So the only reason, so if 4,550 has three significant digits, so the only reason that these count is because they put that point zero to make it count. Does that make sense? So how many significant digits are in A? Determine the number of significant digits in each measurement. So the digits 8, 4, and 9 are significant. 8, 4, and 9 are significant because they are non-zero digits. The zeros are significant because they are between significant digits. So, how many significant digits are here? Are there here? How many? One, two, three, four, five. 
All right, so on our next mm -hmm. number, three and six are significant because they are non-zeros. Digits, right? The zeros are not significant. Why? They're, the, they're at the end of a whole number. So how many significant digits? Two. All right, so our next number is 0 0.010. 0 0.010. So on this one, the digit 1 is a significant digit because it's a non-zero. 0 is after the 1 is a significant digit because why? It's after the last non-zero digit and to the right of a decimal point. So how many significant digits? Two. A student claimed that 0 .045 meters and 0 .0045 meters have the same number of significant digits. Do you agree? Do they have the same number of significant di digits? Right here has two. How many has there? Two. So yes, they are the same. Have a great day. Make sure you do your homework and study. You guys have your chapter one test on Monday. Check all your answers online and have a great weekend.